The second COVID wave has shown a greater demand for medical oxygen and that's why the government is working on ramping up supplies. Let's take a look at our current capacities. Before the pandemic struck India, our medical usage of oxygen was between 1,000 to 1,200 metric tons per day. This has gone up to 4,795 metric tons as of now. And this data is from the 15th of April. Our overall capacity is 7,200 metric tons per day. And 80% of this manufacturing capacity is being diverted towards medical use right now. The Commerce Ministry has said that 6,177 metric tons will be supplied to states on an urgent basis. The largest share will be for Maharashtra. That is around 1,500 metric tons. In fact, there are 12 states which have reached out to the government with the highest demands for oxygen. What else is being done to augment supplies? Well, HLL Life Care, a central government PSU, has issued a tender for importing 50,000 metric tons of oxygen. The industry is also asking the government to fast-track import procedures. A decision has been taken to transport oxygen by trains and green corridors as well. Uh, the central government and also state authorities are reaching out to the industry to augment supplies. Over 119 companies have agreed to either ramp up their own production of oxygen or divert supplies for medical use. Now, some of these companies are Reliance Industries, JSW Steel, Tata Steel, JSPL, uh, JCB India, and oxygen manufacturers all across the country. The center has also recommended a ban on oxygen use for manufacturing. It has asked states to stop oxygen supply for manu manufacturing from the 22nd of April Till further notice, about nine industries have been exempted from that. This includes pharmaceuticals, petroleum refineries, steel plants, nuclear energy facilities, oxygen cylinder manufacturers, wastewater treatment, food and water purification, and process industries as well. Now, all of this is being done because the second COVID wave has shown that many patients are complaining of breathlessness and there is a greater demand for supplemental oxygen this time. And therefore, Centre and state governments are working on a war footing to ensure there are adequate oxygen supplies in the country.